Michael needs 25 years in the game, coaching. And um, naturally for us and everybody that is watching, they want to know what you have achieved. Because uh, whether we like it or not, football, uh, as a coach, it's results oriented. Yes, of They course. look at that. What have you achieved as a coach? Look, uh, I worked in different capacities in football. I worked as a technical director. I worked as a national coach. I worked as a director of coaching. So you must uh, look at all the capacities, uh, what I've let's, achieved. Let's focus on the coaching. On the coach. I yes. started uh, coaching on a national team level. I coach, of course, also. I started coaching youth teams when I was 19. Yeah, in small clubs to grow and uh, uh, to, to develop myself. And uh, then I went to Japan in, in 97 and uh, had three years, a very good experience. They, 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 you know, the Japanese are very hardworking people and basically they had to coach everything from youth to uh, the senior teams. I think I had about 1,000 training sessions in three years, which I had to do. And um, I came back uh, to Germany, did my pro license, and then I got a, was in the programs of the German FA in education in 2003. Then I got an opportunity to go to the Seychelles Island as a national coach because there were some participants in the A license course in Hennef, which mm. I was the educator, and uh, they recommended me. And then basically I went there as a national coach to the Seychelles Islands, and my first game was against Zimbabwe. We lost 3-1, but with some uh, strange penalties. <laughs> yeah. But uh, I predicted, look, I think we can get you, even though we have only 80,000 citizens. And three months later, what I've achieved, I beat Zimbabwe. So, uh, <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> so we are sitting here now. But look, it's, it's clear that with a small team like uh, Seychelles Island, you cannot qualify for AFCON at that time. I think it was even with 12 teams, if I'm not mistaken. Mm -hmm. It's almost uh, impossible, but we had very good uh, games. We competed with Mali, uh, actually that time ranked three in Africa. We drew against Zambia in Zambia, and we were, I think, in the FIFA ranking there, I would say, in Africa, I think the three, third best mover, and in the world, I think the seventh best mover, with a small island nation of 80,000 citizens. So uh, I think, for me, that was a real achievement. I don't think I could achieve more. No? In, uh, with the Rwanda national team, I skip a little bit. I first go to the coaching with the Rwanda national team. I was coming there in 2006 after the World Cup when I was before working with the England national team in a liaison capacity, not in a coaching capacity, but in a like team management capacity for mm -hmm. the World Cup. And uh, I tried to implement all this idea, what I learned there with the, on a world-class level, but the, the situation was, of course, completely different. Yeah? The federation was similar in a transition, you could say, and uh, there my task was to re rejuvenate the team, to rebuild a new team, and that took a little bit time, and, uh, and uh, we, uh, how can I say, we integrated a lot of youngsters from mm -hmm. the league because you must see in 1994 there was the genocide in, 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 in Rwanda, Rwanda which yeah. was a very tragic event. And uh, 12 years later, you have a national team. So this, the national team players in their prime age, mid-20s, were at that time 10, 12 years. And that generation was totally lacking. So before they were always uh, integrating yeah, players from neighboring countries which had some like some sort of dual citizenship say it in this way but so we focused to rebuild a new team with very young players yes and we started to build that team and then we started to win also games in the Sekava Cup it was that time an 11 nation tournament with Zambia with Malawi so it was really a good tournament in, in Ethiopia we finished third and uh, I thought also this was good, then we continued to, to win and I gave over a team which beat Liberia 4-0 when I left uh, Rwanda. So I really think I progressed there. I couldn't qualify, yes, but it was not possible because we really had to rebuild. Yeah? Leave very old players out and, and then start with young players, inexperienced local players. Yeah? We also played against Cameroon with the local team and we lost 2-1. Uh, I think that was very good. 
yes, but we didn't qualify there. After that, uh, I went to the Israel uh, Football Federation. I was there the under-21 national coach and uh, technical director for all the youth national teams. We had a very good program with the under-19. We qualified for the last eight in Europe, which I think was very good. And with under-21, we were really on track to the European Championship and I think even to the Olympic Games. Unfortunately, even with the under-19, the Gaza war broke out. And uh, this, I think, in my opinion, until today, prevented that under-19 went to the under-20 World Cup and the under-21 to uh, the European Championship. But nevertheless, we won nine out of 13 games with under-21 of Israel, which I, we were really top teams. We played, uh, we beat Netherlands, we beat Serbia, we beat Russia. And uh, so really had a very good uh, development. Yes, you can say, <laughs> I didn't win the African Cup of Nations, yes, but I think in the coaching I really progressed every team further. It's your premier football show, The Couch, Wednesday at 9 p.m. Konapo Konapo, Ipapo Ipapo, Pazitian Prime, DSV Channel 294, the place to be.